I'm Francesco Pimpinelli. I'm a professional coach and have more than 15 years experience in using systemic constellations in business coaching. Today, I will make a demonstration of a real life session where I use systemic constellations. The purpose of this video is to show you how systemic constellations can be used in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Hello, Juliette. Uh, so, what is the topic you would like to work on today in um, our session? I would like to write a book. Oh. I've been wanting to write this book for a number of years and I, I just never get there. Hmm. And um, do you have a... Can you briefly tell me some more facts about this project uh, or some constraints uh, or... So, the book is in, in many ways already written in, it is kind of putting down the body of my work for the last 15 years uh -huh. and it has, I have enormous clarity around an enormous amount of it actually. I probably even have quite a lot of the material to a large degree written. Um, and if I could sit down and just tell someone the book, I could probably do it today. Uh -huh. It's the, the constraint is that, well, they're very real constraints around the fact that I'm enormously busy yeah. in the business. I am, you know, I have two small children, so I don't feel like I have a lot of time available. Um, and I just never feel like I have enough time. Yeah. And I have quite a big block about the act of writing it. So sitting down and actually writing. Um, and then I get really confused, do maybe someone else can write it for me, and then I think no that's not possible, and then I think, um, you know, do I have to just, I can't write it in little dribs and drabs, I need yeah. to focus, but I don't ever have time to focus, and I have a feeling it's going to be, it's quite a big a game changer around establishing expertise and authority. I think it would be extremely good for my business. Mm -hmm. So I, there are 101 reasons why I should write this book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's just, I just have no idea. I feel so powerless. So very powerless around actually getting it done and muscling out the time. And I feel quite resentful of that. Mm, you feel quite resentful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or, or not so much to other people, towards myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, towards the business just eating me up. Hmm. No, so one moment ago I was, smi I was l smiling or laughing because I've been through a similar process. So uh, <laughs> that's why I was, uh, I was, uh, I was re resonating with what, with what you were saying very much. So. Did you want to just give me the solution? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> so, so I think if I understand, so there is this, uh, you, you want to put in this book your 15 years of experience in the work you do. You have, um, that you're busy and time seems to be the major uh, obstacle. And even though you know that it would be very extremely positive for you to write mm. this book, mm. correct? Mm. And right now you say you feel resentful against with yourself, correct? Yeah, I feel... Somehow, what else? Because it's, it's not a bit... What else? Um... Frustrated. Yeah. Um, kind of, you know, it's it's really not a big leap in terms of it's not like I have to, you know, imagine this book out of thin air. It's 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 already alive in other formats. Uh -huh. So it's just a, a kind of a decision making process of of is it one book, is it a couple of books, is it a superficial book, is it a deep book, is it, you know, it's just decision making. Um, and it feels completely out of my reach and, and I'm quite, I'm sad, I also feel a bit sad, like, yeah. oh, time's just passing and this book never gets born. Mm. Yeah. How long have you been thinking about 
writing the book? Mm. At least four years, three, okay. four years. Like really consciously thinking about it. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, it's, so it's, it's it's a project that has been there for hanging around, let's say, for three, four years, and now now you feel frustrated and and, let, and a little bit sad about mm. the fact that it's not mm. uh, ready yet, or you're not yeah. started working. Yeah. Yet. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, what would be the need that uh, could want to be fulfilled? which is behind the frustration and the sadness? Well, I'd, I'd, like, to, I'd like to get clear if it's, is it realistic or isn't it? You know, am I just kidding myself here? Um, that there is just too much on my plate and, you know, what? Okay, so accept that you're not going to write the book. Put it aside and move on for the minute. Or... Is it possible to, is it even possible yeah. to find some kind of strategy that is realistic to reach this goal? So a really good outcome for me, what I'd really like to, yeah. is, is to come to some sort of peaceful point of acceptance around, is it possible, isn't it possible, I suppose? Mm -hmm. So I can stop having this big in, in gnawing conflict. Yeah. And... Perhaps, I mean, the ultimate, the, the best possible outcome might be that I actually start to write it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would well, probably, probably be the first prize. Yeah, the, probably you said first the strategy to deal with the situation in order to arrive to actually writing it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So this would be the outcome. And what would be a good uh, result, a, a, a good uh, goal for this session today? as a first step towards the outcome? Is possibly identifying <clears throat> what the real obstacles are and possibly identifying some resources to, you know, start working with them. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would love, I would love there to just be some movement forward, some some movement forward, yeah. even if it's just more clarity, that would be a good outcome, even just that. So if I understand well, to this movement forward would, be to have, would mean to have a better inner clarity about how to approach the whole project. Mm. Is, it, does mm. it make, is it what you mean? Yeah, because the project's feeling completely out of reach and overwhelming. Yeah. So... Um, you know, I can just even feel as I'm sitting here, the enormous self-criticism, you know, coming up. Yeah. Um, so, so perhaps some sense of um, getting, as opposed to just being big and overwhelming and out of reach, mm. and then the pain of that. Yeah. It's almost a pain. Mm. It's actually almost a pain to then have a sense of, Ah, no, okay, I can, I can take this step, I have a good next step, and this is not out of reach, it's in sight, and this is possible. Okay, so if we consider uh, that uh, cl uh, clarity in moving forward as a goal for the session, would it work mm, for you? Yeah. What, um, how would you recognize that you somehow reached this goal? Or having more clarity on how to move forward? Well, I feel like a kid with my nose pressed up against a candy store window <laughs> and the book's inside there yeah. and I can't get it. So maybe feeling like it was, it, um, yeah, in sight. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> no, how would you recognize that uh, during this session ah. you, have, you have gained a better quality, a b better clarity? Sorry. Um, that I would feel, because uh, I feel quite energized around it, it's like it's quite it's got strong energy for me, but that yeah. I wouldn't feel um, like I'm spinning in my tracks, but rather a sense that I 
have a have a that it, a sense of possibility, a sense of more flow, and maybe there's even a a peacefulness in that. Yeah. Um, so, not feeling so, blocked. Yeah, so a feeling of flow and peacefulness. Yes. In, within you. Yes, okay. yes. All right. Okay. Um, what, could, what are the main elements in this situation? I understand there is yourself as the, as the author. Mm. Uh, the goal of having uh, better clarity on how to move forward, forward correct? Mm -hmm. What are the other elements which are really important in this situation to support you in uh, reaching your goal? To be internal elements like, res like internal resources, skills, attitudes, behaviors, or external resources like people, or okay, so if it's me and then the goal is um, getting clarity around a strategy to move yeah. forward. Um, so a resource would be the ability to some time to think, so the ability to sort through the muddle. Um, <laughs> a resource okay so getting clear to get clear what could help me get clear is that what you're asking yeah what what might be an ally in this yeah yeah exactly what could be who or what could be an ally can i put you in the costume yeah. <laughs> 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 that were people um well perhaps perhaps it is a person maybe i need to find a person yeah maybe i need to find um a book writing person, a, mm. a book midwife. Um, so like a, an editor or a writer who could support you? Do you mean mm, that? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that sounds very big. Could I find an editor at this point? I don't know. Maybe I could. I mean, I mean, who do you have in mind when you think about a person who can help you? In, in which respect? Maybe I have to research that. Maybe research would be a good... Ally. Uh -huh. I don't really know. Okay. I don't know who would be a good person. Maybe okay. I need to do some research. Uh -huh. Research, yeah. Could that be a yeah. element? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I almost feel like I have to make myself more important. My, my need to, that I have to honor my need to do this more, that, that, it, that I should give it more priority. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what the element would be to do that, but it's what might be an element of What comes up to your mind? The sense of... Uh, Prioritize? Prioritize or, or entitlement or uh, confidence, I don't know. Mm. What comes up to you? Confidence might work. Confidence. Yeah, we could try confidence. Yeah. Okay. Decisiveness. Decisiveness, okay. Decisiveness would be good. So to... to so, so there's a big obstacle coming up and I think that's why I'm struggling. Is I feel like I'm so... I've set up this book, which I don't even know quite what it is, but yeah. it has to be the ultimate book. Uh. You know, it's like this judge, this perfectionism, this criticism, this, um, you know, writing it the best, the right way. The That's stopping me because um, I'm not quite sure what that is. Mm. So... So what would you need in order to manage or to deal with this uh, self-judgment that you are talking mm. about, with this perfectionism? Okay, so, so what's interesting, what comes up for me there is, is if it were possible to block off time to just um, 
to just be quite playful with it, to just... Mm. As soon as things stop being playful and fun, I mean, this has come up in other ones, but as soon as things stop being fun, then the, ju and the, the judge usually stops them being fun. You know, that self-criticism stops it being fun. It, it, it doesn't have to be so high stakes. If it would just be a bit mm. more playful and a bit more fun, then, then it would be something like, what if I could just muck around with this? Yeah. <laughs> just go in and muck around with it. Yeah, and play with it a bit. So maybe yeah. playfulness. Playfulness, yeah. Creativity, definitely. Playfulness slash creativity yeah. could be the same one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so up to now we have uh, uh, yourself the fo as a focus. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the goal of gaining clarity uh, on how to move forward. Then we have uh, research, decisiveness, playfulness. Anything else that is important in this situation? So can we make research broader um, and to actually represent support? Finding, so it could be information information research or people or some kind of I don't have to do this on my own uh -huh. yeah that that finding support okay that would be a very useful thing to have. external support external external support, support. okay and that could be you know a bunch of things could be yeah. people it could be information it mm -hmm. could be that's fine. So I've got support, I've got playfulness or creativity, yeah. and I've got decisiveness. Yeah. So that's kind of about being quite strong, isn't it? That's about being... Oh, I've got lovingness, support, mm -hmm. strength, yeah. <laughs> decisiveness. Those are the three energies. Yeah, in a sense. In yeah. a sense. Yeah. I can work with that. Okay, all right. So, uh, would you like to? Um, when would you like, first of all, to do an experiential exercise now on this? Yes. To better understand where you are and uh, how things can evolve. Yes, I would okay. like that. And uh, do you want to? Because we have uh, now five, one, two, three, five elements. Do you think they are all equally important, or we can? Uh, select two, I mean it doesn't mean that we are not going to use the, the fifth, eh? but mm. we may not introduce it right away, but a little bit later during the process. Okay, then I think if we have um, playfulness yeah. and a support, yeah. then decisiveness can come later. Can come later, okay, all right. So I invite you to take uh, some paper, and what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to explore a spatial representation of the situation we have been talking about. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to explore it. Mm -hmm. And I will guide you through this process. In order to create this spatial representation, we, are going to we, we need to create some signposts. So I ask you to, use this, to choose a, uh, one or more pen, whatever you prefer, and uh, we will make one signpost for each element where you will write uh, let's say the name of the signpost horizontally in a way that we can read it from uh, from standing when it, when it will they will stay on the floor and this and an arrow pointing downward okay and because the reason of the arrow is that uh, each signpost will will uh, represent um, like a figure or a person and uh, um, the arrow shows the direction the person is looking at. Okay, the element is looking at. Okay. Okay. So, do we want to start from? Uh, we need yourself. So. So I must write my name. Yeah, your yeah. name. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to read it to me?
Perfect. Then we have uh, the goal. And you can write goal and underneath one sentence, like uh, you, before you said clarity on how to move forward. You can adjust it if you prefer, um, now that you're writing it. Writing strategy. Okay. Because the clarity of moving forward would be a strategy to get to writing. Okay. So, what about just strategy? Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, very good. Very clear. <laughs> Again with the arrow, perfect. Then uh, we have uh, one signpost for uh, support. Right, one for playfulness. Can I write creativity? Sure. This feels like it's stronger mm -hmm. for me. Definitely. All right. Then we have uh, so support, creativity, and uh, decisiveness. Okay, so we will, and, and, and by the way, if during the process other elements or other things will, will uh, come out, we can always uh, introduce them later on. All right, so you, I can, you can give it the paper to, back to me. And um, so, uh, so we keep decisiveness a little for a moment on the side. And what I ask you to do now is to map out this signpost on the floor in front of us in relationship to each other, knowing that the uh, arrow is the direction the element is looking at. Okay. okay. And just allow your intuition to can be I start free. Anyway? You can start from anyone and just uh, okay. go with your intuition and see what will come out. Just facing yeah. in. So, just to check, uh, here is Juliette, here is creativity, here is the goal of clarifying the strategy, and here is support. Is it like that? Mm. Okay. Maybe even bigger than the room. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Okay, how do you feel in looking at this mapping now? Mm. Frustrated. Yeah. Um, disconnected. Mm. It's not possible to get anywhere with this. Okay. All right. 
So, in, uh, in the next phase, I will uh, guide you to explore the different signposts, the different elements. And uh, when uh, you will step on each signpost, you will be that element. Okay? So we will be totally associated to that element. So we will speak in first person as if you are, feel, think as you are that element. And if you, if you want to have a conversation like we are having now, you, you just step out and we can talk about anything. Is it okay? <coughs> yeah. Right, so where do you want to start? Uh, start here. Okay. Just step on it and take a moment to feel yourself in the body, to feel how, the, how is Juliette in this situation and uh, explore your sensations like you may feel strong, weak, stable, unstable, tall, small. I... And while you're feeling this and you're tuning into your, your, your feelings, be aware also that around you there are other elements such as creativity, the goal, and support. So, how do you feel here? What is happening in your body? I feel weak, very low energy, heavy. <sighs> Take a deep breath, maybe. I feel quite sad, almost weepy. Yeah. Like I want to just... Yeah. Um, a little bit pathetic. Mm. I feel small, helpless. <laughs> okay. All right, and um, how do you perceive the other elements around you? Um, so I, I can see the goal. Yeah. I can see what I want to do and need to do, but um, it feels completely disconnected and unattainable. Yeah. Support feels. Oh, I didn't even know you were on the map. I didn't even know you were here. I didn't even know you were possible. Yeah. And I'm very aware of creativity, but it feels completely misspent. Mm. Like it's going off and playing with other dogs in a different park. And okay. it's, yeah. It's not here for it's you not, not, now. It's not working for me. Okay. It's there, it's active, I can feel it, but it's yeah. not, and it feels quite uncaring actually. Okay, you can step out and take a deep breath and shake a little bit. Yes. So, which element would you like to explore now? Uh, I'd like to go there. To the goal? Please. Step on the goal. And just feel how, how, does, it, how does the goal feel? in the body, knowing and, perce and, per and perceive the support. Juliette behind you. And creativity. So what is the energy of, of this goal? Is it I feel strong, strong weak? And, yeah? and tall. Uh -huh. um, very neutral, yeah. like there's no big story or drama. Yeah. Like, oh, this is what I am. Yeah, you're just a goal. I'm just a goal. Yeah, yeah. here I am. I'm not. I'm not laden with any drama. Um, yeah, quite yeah. quite strong and firm. Yeah. It sounds like a good goal. It's a good goal with a good energy. Yeah. Do you, uh, how do you perceive the other elements? Do you feel included or? No, I feel. Do you feel part of that? I feel like. A disembodied f sort of thought in the future. Uh -huh. um, I feel like I'm floating far away from everybody. I'm strong, but I'm very lonely and therefore a bit meaningless. Okay. Mm. Support feels actually closer to hand. 
um, like, oh, that's that's not actually such a big deal. It's just not helping me. Okay. Um, Juliet feels like, yo, you get a, you know, you've got to catch a wake up. You are <laughs> centuries behind me. And creativity, what creativity? All right, you can step out and shake a little bit. What, where, which one would, would you like to explore next? Um, this one. Support, yes. Step on it and feel how support is doing in this situation. And uh, allow yourself to be open and to, to your intuition, to feel yourself in the body and to connect to the meaning of support in the larger sense that we have been talking before. And feel that and at the same time be aware of the goal here. And behind there is Juliette. And behind there is creativity. So what happens here with support? It's a bit uh, mixed. Mm. Um, so on the one hand, I feel quite warm and round and solid. Yeah. Um, but a bit wobbly, like an, like I'm an egg <laughs> and I could uh -huh. just roll over. Okay. So there's a wobbliness. Um, I feel pointless. Yeah. Um, I, I, I can sense the goal, but it's all, it's all very so what? So mm. what? Juliet, oh, so what? Don't, I can't even feel creativity. There's no real sense of that. Um, I feel very pointless. Yeah. Okay. You can step out. And now we go and check the last one, creativity. Allow yourself to embody creativity in this situation. So feel yourself in the body. Be aware that here there is Juliet. Further on there is the goal of Juliet. And then we have support. What happens here with creativity? I feel very I feel quite fun and a little bit mm -hmm. naughty. Yeah. Uh, almost a little bit wicked. Uh-huh. A little bit evil. <laughs> but not in a bad way. But mm. more like where that feeling of you know you have to sit down and study, but you would rather read a magazine. <laughs> so very playful, uh, quite pleased with myself. Mm-hmm. I like myself quite a lot, yeah. yeah. Um, but a little bit lazy and undirected and a little bit undermining <laughs> of Juliet. So I'm just sort of like, feeling uh. like, so what to you? Uh. I don't yeah. need support and I am having a lot of fun. I don't need that goal. Yeah. I'm on my own mission. You're on your own. I'm on my own yeah. mission. And it's fun. Yes. Yeah. When they allow you to express yourself. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can step out. Now, let's look at this picture, which is uh, the inner image you have in this moment about the situation we are talking about. Mm. What have you learned by doing this exploration? So what jumps out immediately for me is that this idea that there is no time, there is no, the, you know, there no, there's no resources and no time is, is perhaps not quite the truth of it. <laughs> that perhaps yeah. it's about where I'm focusing um, and that um, I have these, I have this wonderful energy that I'm misspending, yeah. perhaps. 
and I, I may say it looks like it's a little bit abandoned or uh, I don't know yeah. if it is neglected or not but it's like a little bit on her own down there yeah yeah I'm not harnessing it I'm not not I'm not valuing it um, in action in a way it's sort of yeah. it's sort of a bit remote and it's superficial it's being employed very superficially maybe there's a lot to offer yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely um, I think I'm throwing up, because of this disconnect, I'm throwing up these obstacles. It's like I'm making, this This is making me find excuses. Hmm. And what about support? Yeah, the, like, why do I think I have to do it all on my own? Yeah. Why do I think I have to drive? and know and be accountable and learn it and do it all on my own. And I, I actually feel so unsupported and of course I do, because yeah. I'm all on my own. How does it feel to allow yourself to think or to give the possibility of being supported? Give yourself... The yeah, it feels like a really smart respectful thing to do. Mm. The book is going to still to be your book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still got to write it. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, exactly. And it, it's, it's such a big theme, my goodness. Yeah. I always try and go out all alone. Hmm. Okay. Would you like now if we play a little bit around with the different elements to see if we can find a better s solution, a better, uh, uh, let's say, a better mapping that is, hmm. could be more supportive uh, to achieve yeah. the goal that are important, that is important to you. Yeah, yeah, that okay. nice. So, during this uh, phase, what we are going to do, we are going to move the signposts in order to find a better position and I will, and, uh, will invite you to say some sentences to clarify s facts or uh, what you're feeling, etc. Okay. And actually, the sen we will co-create the sentences. Sometimes I will invite you to, to say something and then we together we define what to say or sometimes I may suggest you something as well. But when I suggest you something, please be mindful of listening to you if these words are resonating with you mm -hmm. and eventually you can always use different words or reshape the sentence in a slightly different way okay is it okay yeah yeah, yeah that's great so far so good <coughs> okay all right so um if you want uh, what is the first change that you would like to introduce in this picture in this map well, I want to um, I want to connect to the strategy. Yeah. Okay. So to you the can, goal. Yeah, <laughs> I, I will do that for you. So you can, uh, yeah, so you, you can step on uh, Juliet. And let's move the goal right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can step on it. Okay. How is different from you? Is it better, worse, or the same as before? Mm, it's much better. Um, I feel much more neutral. Uh -huh. um, there isn't a big drama about it. It feels pretty... Um, the, the, the feeling is that actually the first step is to just get a strategy and the strategy feels so doable. Mm -hmm. There it is. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Right um, is it at the right distance? Would you like it a closer? A little closer. A little, little closer. closer. Actually, I think might be nice. Like that? Can we try a little closer? Okay, we will check. I mean, the, the beauty of, of this exercise is that we, can, we will experiment, mm. you know, and we will find out what is really the best solution for you. Like that? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not 
on top of me. It's a bit of breathing room. Yeah. But it's, uh, I can find it, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that feels nice. Okay. And uh, maybe we do, would you like to say something to the girl? I can, I can see like the, a, yeah, like I can see the possibility of you. Or yeah, I see you. Yeah, maybe you can tell, you can say to the girl. Now, finally, I see you. Something like that. Now, now, finally, I see you. Yeah. I see the strategy. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel to say that? Feels good. I feel strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah it's not something out there, but it's something more yeah, it close, tangible. more real, more tangible. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, it, it's um, the calmness of the, you know, the, the goal felt very neutral, yeah. um, strong but neutral. You yeah. know, it wasn't a big yeah. like emotional story. Yeah. And I feel, I feel quite, I'm quite surprised at how neutral I feel. Okay. And strong but neutral, and I really like that. It's not okay. a big drama or a big. Yeah. Oh, it's just there yeah. it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to step out and let's check how the goal is? Yeah. Step on it, receive the words from Juliette, and tell me if it's better, worse, or the same as before. That's better. It's, yeah, it's definitely better. Mm. Um, I feel a bit self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you um, mean? I, I'm really uh, very aware of being looked at by her. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, I feel a little bit nervous about that, funnily enough. Mm. Like, um, yeah, I don't know why. I just like, oh, oh, you can see me. Yeah. Um, and maybe you can tell her. Now you, can, now you look at me. Now you can see me. Now you're yeah. looking at me. And how does it feel to say that to Juliette? Yeah, like I, <coughs> uh, I feel like I belong somewhere now. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe you can tell her, now mm. I feel I belong. Now I feel I belong. I have, I have a place to go, I have a place yeah. to be. I have a place to be. I have a place to be. How do you feel to say, when you say that? I feel kind of wise and um, <coughs> I feel knowledgeable. I don't know why, but mm. I don't know if that's not really a feeling, but you know what I mean? I, I feel um, like I have something to offer. Okay. I feel like I have something to offer. Do you Valuable, valued. Yeah. yeah. Do, you feel, do you still feel this kind of strange feeling of being seen, of being exposed? No. Or, or no it's that's okay now? That's, that's past. That's past. Yeah. You still feel a good energy as a girl? Yeah, strong legs. Uh -huh. um, feel very structured. Mm. Yeah. Good. All right, we can step out. And uh, what would you like to work with next? Um, I think maybe this one. Yeah. <coughs> okay. This little one, yeah. So, uh, I invite you again to step on Juliette. And let's see what happens when creativity is here, close to you. Feel the presence of creativity on your side. And you can also look at her and feel if it's better, worse, or the same as before. Mm. Maybe it's too close or too far. No, it's a good place. <coughs> mm. I feel... I feel ambivalent, funnily enough. I wasn't expecting to mm. feel mixed. I feel like... Um, uh, there's a very... 
<laughs> I'm struggling to find words. Yeah. Um, my body feels... Looks like they're... Like, I don't know, like I'm a bit unbalanced. Yeah. Like, um... Maybe it's the connection. What is this? Let's explore this ambivalence. What is this ambivalence about? On so one side. Th this feels really... Um, what's jumping into my head, I can't explain it, is that it feels um, very, very strong and very... Um, that evilness I was talking about, that, that wickedness, um, that ability to distract and derail, yeah. that quality is, is still there. Like, I'm, this is great, I need you, but I need to also manage you. <laughs> yeah. So the ambivalence, if I understand, there is on one side the appreciation for this quality, which is very yes. precious. Yes. At the same time, the fear that she can take yeah. the lead in unexpected uh, yeah. situation and unwanted ways. Is it is this yes, the fact? Yes, yes. That, that, um, because it's so strong, um, sh she can go off on tangents and she can derail structures and steps and discipline yeah. because she can become totally all-consuming and it's like a, it can be like a vortex. Yeah, okay. So, so what about clarifying this t issues this with her, at least yeah. her role? Yeah, Yeah, that would be huh? nice. Yeah. So maybe we can start by <clears throat> appreciating and uh, including her, like some, saying something like, uh, I, I need you, you're very precious to me, something like that. What would you say in yeah. a concise way to her? Um, you are, you're indispensable. If you're not on board, then I don't feel right, so I need you. Yeah, so, so, let, so uh, let's work on the f sentence first. Mm. So what, are, what is the sentence the that sentence you, in a that, concise um, way, that you can say to her? Yeah, you are... You're important you're to me. Important you're indispensable, you're indispensable, you said. You're precious, yeah, you're yeah. precious, you're indispensable. Um, I love you, I recognize you. Okay, so tell her. You're important, you're Sl indispensable. Slowly and breathing and feeling it and meaning it. You're important. You are key. I recognize you. I bring you on board. Okay. How does it feel to say that? Good. Yeah. Very mature. Very mature. Yes, I felt yeah. more mature. <laughs> yeah. And maybe about maturity, it's, it's, it's good to clarify the relationship and the roles here. Mm. Yeah. So maybe you can t you can tell her that you are a precious something like you are a re you're a precious resource, and I'm the I mean, mm. and uh, I'm a mature woman. I'm uh, I've achieved a lot. Yeah. I am in charge of my life. Something so like that. You're a precious resource. I'm the driver. Yeah. I'm the captain of the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you're a very important crew member, but I'm the I'm the captain. Yeah, and I decide when I need you. I decide when and how I need you. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe you can also say that uh, it, it may need some time to know better each other. If, you f if it's, if it's uh, important to, 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 to you yeah, to say in, that. In, in relation to this project, yeah. um, you and I will work out together the best way we can work together mm. to get to our goal. Yeah. It might take some time. Yeah. We don't have to know it right now. But we will work it out together. Yeah. And maybe something like I need to trust you that you are on my side. Something like I that. I need to I need be relaxed. To trust you. I need to trust you that you're on my side and you don't try and run the show. Yeah. That you understand your place. Yeah. I'll be the leader. Yeah. I commit to you that I will be the leader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how, do, how does it feel to say that? Mm, it feels good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, I invite you to step out and to step on, uh, step on to creativity and receive the words of Juliette. And just <sighs> receive them. And feel, and feel the difference of being where you are if compared to where you were before and mm. all the messages that um, Juliet has, has, gave, has, has given you. How does it feel to receive, to, to receive this? It feels really good. I feel... I feel valued. I feel valuable. Yeah. Um, I feel strong but safe, contained. Uh, because I know I'm very big. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a whirlwind. I feel yeah. just yeah, good, settled. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can you can tell uh, Juliette that how it's beautiful to feel included I, in a concise sentence. I feel included. I feel directed. Um, so I feel potent. I don't feel wicked. Yeah. I feel, <laughs> if I feel, cons feel positive. constructive. Cons I feel constructive. I feel yeah. constructive. And, and maybe you, uh, about this, that you, you like to be led. It looks yeah. like. Huh? Please be my leader. <laughs> yeah. I'm very and happy. I will, to I will serve you. Yeah. Be my leader. I'm abundant. I don't run out. I'm yeah. infinite. But I need you to lead. So thank yeah. you for leading. Yeah. It's like that you need her guidance. Mm, I need your guidance, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How does it feel to say that? Mm, it feels good. It feels calm, settled, quite <sighs> relaxed, mm. but strong legs, very strong Very legs. strong. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And how does it feel to be here with Juliette, looking mm. at the goal? Mm, comfortable, appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it the best place for you, or you, or you would like to be closer, or a little bit? Can I try back? a little closer? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that that's actually good. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's the right. Okay. One. And maybe you can add something like, this is my place next to you. It's my place next to you. From here I can support you, something From like that. From here I can support you. Or probably you want, I, I felt you, that there was a better word than that. Um, <laughs> enable? There was yeah. an enabling yeah. or facilitating yeah. feeling? So the, from here I can enable. I can enable you, I can give you the goodies. Yeah, okay. All right, step out. Go back to Juliet and receive the words of creativity. How does it feel? Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you. Now, before I reply, how do you feel in receiving what she said? I feel grateful. Uh -huh. I feel gifted. Yeah. I feel confident. Has something has cha uh, changed in your body or in your feelings by knowing what she said? That she likes to be guided, to be led, mm. that she's ready for you whenever I you... I feel strengthened by that. Mm. Uh, I feel stronger. Um, I feel clearer. Mm -hmm. I feel clearer. She was running a mock. <laughs> <laughs> I feel clearer about my role. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still are you still afraid of her? No. Okay. Um no, no, no. I think I I um I f feel more delighted and um amused. Hmm. Yeah. So you can tell her I'm delighted and amused of the possibilities I had, something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm Look at her. I'm delighted. Yeah, I'm delighted and amused by the possibilities we will create together. And I feel very strong having you there. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Do you feel safe with her now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do feel safe. Yeah.
All right. Does something change looking at the goal? Once you have creativity on your side? Well, it feels less solid. It feels more permeable, like we can... It's like looking at a building from the outside. You can't see the rooms and the stairways and the nooks and crannies inside. It just looks like a solid block. Uh -huh. Now I can see inside and I can see that there are little pathways and doors to open and windows uh -huh. to look out. And so the goal just suddenly feels alive. Mm -hmm. More alive. More okay. alive. Is it a good feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's a very good feeling. Okay. Are you ready to look at support? Yeah. Huh? Okay, so maybe first of all we can turn it around so that you can look at him at support. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Huh? Well, and then we will, f we will find a good place for, for it. Okay. Does it mm. feel good? Mm -hmm. Must I stand back in? Yeah, you can stand back there. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to stand on it? Mm, please, yeah. No, no, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels really nice. It feels like Christmas has arrived. <laughs> and birthdays. Yeah. So what is changing in your feelings, in your energy, once you can look at support? I feel really blessed yeah. to have you there. You can I just feel really gifted and blessed. Yeah. Maybe you can tell you can tell her or actually makes me feel quite yeah. emotional. Yeah. It's yeah, and, and allow these emotions to be with you. Yeah. It's a big, it's big. Breathe in your body. And feel that it's possible and you deserve that. It's such a funny feeling. It's, it's making me feel, it sounds so trite maybe, but it's making me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm worth Yeah, you're worth, yeah. That this writing this book is worth something. Yeah, and you are worth something. Yeah. Your expertise is worth something. Yeah. Maybe we can. Can you hand, hand me over the tissue, please? Is there, there, right there, there, right there. Okay. 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 <laughs> please. Thanks. Yeah, that that I just I feel. Um, Suddenly the goal has a different quality. Mm. It's like, if I am worth being supported and the book is worth writing, then it's worth having a strategy. Yeah. It's, a worth, it's worth being creative. That was the missing, the missing, that was the surprising missing piece in a way. Yeah from where I'm standing here, is suddenly this, is a, s a circle of warmth and, whereas it was, kind of had the wild whistling wastes of cold air blowing through <laughs> it. It's like now it's warm and. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, what can you say to support? <sighs> sure. I'm going to play with this idea that I deserve you. <laughs> yeah, tell it. Is it a he, do you want to call it, is it a him or a her? And funny enough, it's a her, but oh, it's, it's a actually her, yeah. not really. It's a, yeah. it's a it. It's a it, okay. It's an it. So, what do you want to So, I deserve you. <sighs> I think I deserve you. I'm still playing with that one. Yeah. Mm. What else before that? What is important to say? I, I see you. 
Yeah. I just, I didn't even see you. Yeah, now I can see now you. Now I can see you and this yeah. is good. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really good that I can even see you. Yeah. Um, thank you for, thank you for being there, being a possibility. Yeah. Um, I'm not alone, you know. Yeah. And maybe you can say something that I've, I got something to say or something to contribute or to share with my book. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I have something to say and something to contribute and I need you. Yeah. I need you. And the interesting thing is you there. Yeah. I just didn't see you. Yeah, maybe something that is good to know that I'm not alone. I'm not alone, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm not alone in this. I see yeah. you and I, I can invite, I, I'm the driver. I yeah. can invite you in. Yeah. I can draw on you. I can access you. Yeah. How does it feel to say that? Oh. Hmm? It feels good. It feels good? Yeah. What is changing in the body? Okay. Um, yeah, Phil. So. I feel calm, mm -hmm. still a bit emotional. Yeah. Um, Where do you feel the emotion in the body? So sort of from my voice, sort of running down my, to about my belly button, it's just, uh -huh. just this sort of thread of feeling. Okay. And how can you give voice to this thread? feelings how can you express it how can you acknowledge it um, mm. I suppose the thread of feeling is the part of me that keeps thinking I have to do this all yeah. by myself yeah. and realizing that I'm part of I'm part of something yeah. and that I had isolated this project out of what I'm part of uh -huh. and I can bring it back into what I'm part of mm. and that it's a very, it's just not, it's okay to need support. Yeah. It's okay. It's yeah. alright. Yeah. In fact, it's more than okay. It's smart. It's smart, it's actually. Smart yeah. to get support. Yeah. So I feel like the support is in actually a very good place next to the strategy because it's almost a strategic mm. thing. Now, let's see, do you want to explore support now to see how it is? <clears throat> yeah, so I'm noticing that, that, that it's actually maybe two things. Yeah. There's a kind of external support yeah. that I have to go and find and explore, yeah. but there's also the support that is already there. Yeah. That is partly internal and partly already in my system. Yeah. That I have perhaps been not not acknowledging or, or experiencing uh -huh. because of me, not not yeah. because it wasn't there. Yeah. Would you like to represent these two different levels of support by using two different elements, or is it okay to leave them in one integrated into one? I would like to add another element in, if for, I may. Yeah, so that we can have internal, internal, yeah. internal support, let's say the, uh, the system that is already in place, yeah. and there's things and resources, people that, can be, yeah. that you can look for. Exactly, so that would be almost strategy support. Yeah. Um, you know, like finding an editor or, or someone who helps with, with writing and structuring books or, or even a ghostwriter or whatever, you know, yeah. that doesn't matter. That, that feels there. And then there is sort of a more systemic, yeah. it's yeah. already in place, I'm yeah. just not... The existing support that is yeah. already in, within you, within the system, yeah. within your system. Yeah. Okay, so I will take a new signpost for that. Yes. Okay, so this will remain as the external support. Yes. Okay, I will take a new one. So, do you want to step back on Juliette? Yes. And we, and we experiment a little bit and we see where, what is the best place for okay. the support which is already in place. So let's, let's try it here. And just feel how does it feel 
to have support, the internal support behind you. Maybe it's too close or too far, but just feel it. And then I tr we, we can try also to put it somewhere else, like uh, here, for example. No, I liked it behind me. You like it behind me, yeah. yeah. And that was a good place. It wasn't too close or too far. This way? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Uh -huh. so that feels really nice, like... Um, I'm part of something. Yeah. And I belong. Yeah. And the things in place and people who've got my back. Yeah. And um, whether it's just emotionally, you know, I, I just I feel that that there. Okay, maybe you want to turn around just a moment and say a few words to this internal support, like you said, I belong. I, be, I belong here and you belong to me, something like that. I belong. Or, yeah, please. I belong here. I feel you here. And I'm, I'm strengthened by you. Yeah. And thank you for, for being part of something with me. Yeah. And I acknowledge you in achieving this goal, that you're an important part of me achieving mm. this goal. Okay, how does it feel? Mm. It, feels, it feels very honoring yeah. of the people in my life and yeah. my, fam you know, my family yeah. support my organization. How, how are they looking at you? I think that they like, like, this. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay. <coughs> I invite you to step out and to step into the internal support and look at Juliette and receive the words from Juliette. How does it feel? Are you there for Juliette? Yes, that's yeah. the truth. Yeah. And we feel acknowledged. Yeah. And you can say, are you willing to support her? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Maybe you, you can say something like, we love you and we, we support you. you. We support you. We want you. We want you to succeed in your goals. Yeah. And we, we are strengthened by you succeeding in your goals. Yeah. So use us. Yeah. You know, know that we're here. Yeah. Hmm. Anything else coming up? How do you feel? Good. Mm. Yeah. Calm. Warm, hmm. comfortable. Okay, so you can step out. Sorry, there's Sorry. one, one, oh. other thing. <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> one just, just yeah. came up is that there, there's an, uh, that we also trust that you will draw on us as and when you need, that it's an appropriate. Yeah. It's appropriate. Okay, tell her. It's, we trust you will draw on us and that you have the discernment to draw on us when you need, that it's appropriate. Okay. Because you are the captain yeah. of this. <laughs> okay. Step out. Step in. Step on Ju uh, Juliet, looking at, looking at them and receiving the words. How does it feel? Yeah. Maybe. I feel responsible yeah. and accountable and... Maybe you can say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very grateful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel grateful. Very yeah. grateful. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just turn around this thing. And just feel the presence of your internal support system behind you honoring you, being there for you, and you feeling your gratefulness for them being there, knowing that you're in the, that in this situation they are really there for you. Hmm. How is it? Yeah, it's calm. It's 
quite neutral. Mm. Um, I feel strong. I feel, yeah, that's definitely eased. The thread is mm. eased. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Um, I, I feel current. Uh -huh. um, and I feel, I feel, yeah, I feel really much, I feel possible. I feel like that, that goal feels really possible. Okay. Yeah. And look at the external support. Is there anything that you would like to say to external support? Well, I've just got to find it. Yeah. Yeah. So it. maybe you can say something. I'm, I'm going to look for, for you. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to look for you. Yeah, I'm going to find you. Mm. I know you're out there now. I'm going to find you. Thank you. Okay, you may step out and let's, let's check how support, our external support is. Receive the words from Juliet. You have seen what has been going on. She's connected in the while with internal support. And you are these new possibilities which are out mm. there. And uh, Yeah, this is what we do. And we're interested in, in you finding us. Yeah. How do you feel there? Good. Do you feel included? Yeah. Could even move a little bit forward. Yeah. Where, before moving, where would you like to be closer to the goal or...? Yeah, a little bit closer to the goal. Yeah. Just a little Probably. bit. Does yeah, it try. It's like that. Yeah. I don't know, you can stay. I'm just stepping on to the goal to, to check if it's... Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you want to test another, just as we are as a, we are experimenting, do you want to test something else, like maybe stepping okay. here? No, no, uh, with the signpost, we have to move it. Oh, move the signpost? Yes, yeah. or not. No. No. No, it feels okay. good there. Yeah? yeah. Okay. No, no, it feels comfortable there. Okay. So, go back to Juliette and receive the words from, step onto it, receive the words from external support. And uh, is it okay for you that support moved a little bit closer to the goal? I didn't actually need it to move close to the goal, if I'm honest, from yeah. this place, because I think it's, um, it's bigger than the goal. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it's bigger than this step in the ultimate goal. So yeah. it, it's part of a bigger, even a bigger thing. Yeah. And so uh, I'm happy that it's there, but it, it wasn't necessary. Okay. Would you like to have support somewhere else in the space around you? So if we tested it there, it yeah. might be interesting to see. Yeah, that's it, even stronger. It's stronger. Yeah, it is stronger. It feels like... Um, it's become even a bigger principle, mm -hmm. um, a sort of a, a bigger source. Yeah. It's it's not so specific or so finite. It feels even bigger. Uh huh. And that feels really nice, like a general principle that I can draw on. Okay, maybe you can you you can say something to support to external support, like uh, from there this. You, I can, I don't know, I can, I can rely on you or you can support yeah. me better or... Well. Yeah, from there I can look for you whenever I need to. Yeah. Not just here. Yeah. So, here, yes, great. But I quite like that you even a more general principle. Mm hmm Okay. Thank how you, do, yeah. How does it feel? It feels good. Yeah. Are they at the right distance from you? Creativity and support, you would like them closer or they're okay? Can creativity come up even a bit more closer? Yeah. And then support is, yeah. Like, that's like good. that? Yeah, that's good. They were just felt a little too far. That's, that's really nice. Okay, so just check creativity. Yeah. And support, external support. Can it move out slightly? Like that? 
back slightly. Like that? Yeah. So, so this this is this is much more internal and that's that's more external. Yeah. So it's, there's a, there is a difference somehow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, can you step out and check if support is happy to stay there and also okay. to enable to allow support to receive the words of Juliette? And maybe you can add something like, I can help you in this project and in many others. Hmm. <laughs> I can help you in this project and in many others. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just ask me. Just ask me, I'm here. Here yeah. I am. Sounds very much like, here I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, relaxed. Mm -hmm. Good, neutral. Okay. So, I can Im I invite you to step out for a moment to step on creativity, to see if uh, everything is okay for creativity, being closer to Juliette. Mm, that's nice. And close to su external support. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, it feels really nice. Looking at the goal. Mm -hmm. Now I feel part of something. I feel supported. Mm -hmm. I feel guided. Yeah. I feel clear, rare. Yeah. Okay. You can step out. Let's just look at the goal for the last mm. time, just to check that how do you, how does the goal feel now with the Juliet? Creativity and external support. And internal support behind Juliet. Mm. How is it for the goal? I feel like I have an audience. I feel seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel really good. Really pleased with myself. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. All right. So I invite you to, to go back to Juliet. Yeah. And to receive what has been experienced and said. Also, the message, the last words from the support was saying you can use us also in for other projects in other situations Your creativity inner support how do you feel so i feel much clearer mm -hmm. i feel very possible um and I feel like it's almost, um, it can apply to this particular strategy, but it can apply to any of my strategies. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's about, and, and funnily enough, the, the, result, the element of decisiveness actually is the driver. And I feel like I'm there. Uh -huh. It's inside of me. Okay. So I didn't need it. All right. Because I feel quite decisive. Mm. Like I can be decisive when I have the right support. I'm guiding my creativity. Yeah. I have a clear goal and I lean into the support that's there. Yeah. Then anything feels yeah. possible. Yeah. And you can ask for support. And course. I can ask for support. Yeah. You can yeah. research what is available and what is yeah. possible. Yeah. What resources I need. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to uh, take inside of you somehow? You can look at it by looking at it or by making a movement. Take in this image as the new inner image of this situation. Okay. And just looking at it so that it gets deep inside of you and it becomes... <laughs> you're, you can embody this new image eventually. Okay. So, uh, was it useful for you? Very useful. Mm -hmm. And what have you learned? Well, that 
Well, w w well, I've actually learned that I thought I was talking about something very specific, but it's actually something quite general mm -hmm. as, as something that happens to me, is that I have goals and I understand them and, and I can be quite clear on them. I have enormous creativity yeah. uh, and huge energy and huge appetite, but because I don't get the support I need or because I feel under supported, my creativity runs amok and I don't get there. Mm -hmm. So this has actually, actually lifted up a, a much deeper sort of um, thing that pl has played out in the past. And what is so interesting is that the support piece, which is actually feeling like an enormous revelation, yeah. um, is about feeling like I belong to human systems. Yeah. That I'm not on my own. Yeah, you're not on your own, yeah. So it's, it's such an interesting feeling like I belong. Yeah. Um, and that I have value to give into real spaces. So yeah. um, certainly the, the support behind me here is the first port of call yeah. to really honor and acknowledge the support that is already in place and that tries so hard to support me and I so underutilize <sighs> is the first yeah. port of call. And then I can actually focus my attention, which is what managing my creativity is and being decisive is about, is, is focus. Mm. It's just, I, I know I'm really powerful, but I'm easily unfocused. Mm. So that Just take a deep, a deep breath and feel it. Feel this potential, feel this quality that you have. And uh, so, what are you? What are the next steps? What are you going to do in the next days, weeks, around this topic? So, I think to almost combine them all in one. Yeah. Sort of set some time aside to explore them each not not even need to have the answers but it's to sort of strategize around each piece yeah to think about what i want um what creativity i need to leverage and what support i need to feel supported to achieve it yeah. whether that support is about how i use my time my company resources how my family and children get supported yeah all those layers yeah sure because i'm part of a complicated system yeah and you, you, you understand you need to make a kind of master plan and that's it yeah and that feels compelling it feels energetic it feels fun it feels playful it feels possible Mm -hmm. to just do that. Yeah, and when are you going to take the time to do that? I think... Um, I think towards the end of next week mm -hmm. I have a big strategy session on Tuesday for another project and I think it's going to give me a lot of... It's going to give me a lot of insight if I <laughs> do that session. Yeah. And then I think um, this can follow on as an extension of that strategy session. So it's feeling very, very well timed, very congruent. So if not by next week, the week after. Okay. Uh, and that feels okay. It feels appropriate. It's, it's appropriate. It's not a rush. Yeah. Um, it's it's part of a, a bigger strategy session that's actually in yeah. process. So more or less, let's say that by the end, by mid June, probably. By mid June, I want to have played around with a master plan. Yeah, how, how much time do you need to do that? Um, More of, um, tentatively, I mean, how much I time do you need to put think, aside to I work on I'd that? I think I'd like to put aside an hour and a half to keep it tight. Yeah. To give it boundaries. Yeah. Just as, so that creativity doesn't get too fierce. Okay. <laughs> and try and solve it all. <laughs> to, to be quite high level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, if yeah. to just identify the key components of what the strategy is going to entail would, okay. would be a really, really powerful starting point for me. Okay. Do you, do, do you have any quite do you have any question or any other things you want to ask me before we close? Um, how long does it take for this? Like, must I just trust this? 
What else? <laughs> <laughs> Does this... Well, you know how... It, um, the point here is that we have been working we have, uh, with uh, your inner perception of the situation. Mm -hmm. So, at the beginning, the, we started at the beginning with the former current map mm -hmm. of the situation. And now we are by playing around and by making the movements and by using sentences, we have transformed the, the map into something new. And that's why I invited you to take this new map mm -hmm. as your new inner map. So my invitation is to allow yourself to be surprised of what can unfold also in your life. Mm. Once you have this new map inside of you. So it's important, as we said, to have some practical next steps, as we have agreed, mm -hmm. but also, you know, allow yourself to find out in your daily life and how this more supported and uh, conscious Juliette can take charge of okay. her time mm. and uh, and see how it, how it will go. And actually, next time we can check where you are and how, how, how you're progressing. I'm Juliet, and we did a constellation. So Francesco led me through a, a constellation. And I thought I had quite a lot of clarity about the situation, and I thought I knew what all the pieces were. But when you write them out and you place them in the space and you externalize them, you sort of physicalize them, it was really interesting to discover dimensions to the situation I hadn't thought of in my head beforehand. And then to go and identify with each element that you've chosen really opens up your perspective of what's actually happening. And maybe the most important thing is that all the hidden things are revealed to you. So it is enormously surprising and you think you know what it's about and you discover dimensions that you couldn't access when you were engaged in the story of it in your head. So it's kind of trancey, takes you into a very sort of emotional, deep part of yourself and um, surprising things come up. Um, sometimes uncomfortable, you know, or, or emotionally charged things come up. But it also feels very safe, very manageable, very tangible. Mm -hmm.